Stargazers, listen up this week marks the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, but visibility unfortunately may be low. Meteorologist Daniel Giuliano is here now to explain the complications we'll experience this year. And Daniel, some fun facts about the meteor shower itself. Yeah, I feel like everything is stacked against us this year when it comes to one of the best meteor showers of the year itself. We see this every year. It's August 12th and 11th there, which is technically the peak of the meteor shower. You were probably able to see some of those meteors over the last week or so. It started at the end of August. But with the forecast, we have some clouds in our forecast cast so poor visibility with that and normally you would see 60 to 100 meteors per hour but then comes the full moon actually the last super moon of the year the 2022 year here will also happen the night of august 11th so thursday night into early friday which obviously lights up our skies and will make visibility for the meteor shower unfortunately very low so that number of 60 to 100 meteors per hour drops to about 10 to 20 because you'll only see the brightest ones so what you really want to do is look for the darkest part of the sky rule of thumb if you're able to see some stars you have the possibility to see some of those meteors now let's take you through some of those fun facts as well the meteor showers originate from the comet, the Swift-Tuttle Comet. Now, that was named and discovered in 1862 by Lewis Swift and Horace Tuttle. Now, another fun fact about this is the comet takes 133 years to orbit the sun once. Only one time, 133 years. That's quite some time there. And another one, I thought this was pretty fun there. Almost twice the size, so the comet is almost twice the size of the object that was hypothesized to have led to the demise of the dinosaurs. So that's a one pretty big comet. I'm gonna bring Chief Meteorologist John Gone in here. Cause again, looking at the forecast for that, the cloud cover, the full moon, odds are not in our favor for this meteor shower. Exactly right. But I liked how you paraphrase it by saying 10 to 20 possible per hour. Exactly. Now, if you're sitting out in your backyard, again, like Daniel said, look in that dark sky, northeast, uh, uh, northeast quadrant of the uh, sky. And just be patient, as you might see one per every six minutes or so. That's about, uh, get you about 10 per hour.